before Holy, Holy, Holy. Thank you. 
Father, you sent your word to bring us truth, and your spirit to make us holy. Through them we come to know the mystery of your life. Help us to worship you, one God and three persons, by proclaiming and living our faith in you. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Thus says the wisdom of God, The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, the forerunner of his prodigies of long ago. From the bowl I was poured forth, at the first before the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains or springs of water, before the mountains were settled into place, before the hills I was brought forth. While as yet the earth and the field were not made, nor the first cloth to the world. When the Lord established the heavens, I was there. When he marked out the vault over the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he fixed fast the foundations of the earth, when he set for the seas its limits, so that the water should not transgress his command. Then I was reciting as his practice, and I was his delight day by day, playing before him all the while, playing on the surface of his earth, and I found delight in the human race. The word of the Lord.
you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me, because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For that reason I have told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. I remember one of the earliest attempts to ask questions about Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, this most holy trinity, ended up with my parents giving up in exasperation and saying, it's a mystery. Some of you may have heard that phrase a time or two. And indeed, the holy trinity is a mystery. One God in three persons. But so often, when we look at mysteries, we say, well, that's beyond our comprehension. We say, okay, that's it. I can't figure it out. But see, that's where our human weakness enters in and tries to prevent us from fully understanding what we can. You see, God made us in his image and likeness. What does that mean? We have the ability to love and to love Fully giving of ourselves so much can we love. But we are also creatures of thought and reason. And although this threefold mystery, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is a mystery, it is not unintelligible. Because if we open ourselves to this grace given to us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we will find that mystery unfolding before us. We will never fully understand the majesty that is our God. But we can know all that God shares with us here on earth. Delving into the depths of creation, seeing how intricately our world has been knit together. God, our Father and Creator, is the hand behind such labors. Every time we offer our life in service of others, we know a little better the person of Jesus, Son of God. The word that was spoken and we were made the agent of creation and also the agent of our salvation who though he was sinless accepted death on the cross and every time we open ourselves to God's glory to his holiness allowing ourselves broken imperfect fragile beings that we are every time we acknowledge that God's grace can overcome those weaknesses and that we can be people of holiness and life, we accept the Spirit into our hearts and into our lives. Yes, the, the Holy Trinity is a mystery, but one that is within our grasp, <coughs> facets at a time. It is for us to open the doors that are before us. And not merely put up our hand and say, we'll never fully understand it. Because if we do that, we will miss so much. We will lose so much. But if we open our hearts, open our minds, open our eyes, we will see this most holy and blessed truth <coughs> spread out before us. And we are drawn into it. For at its root, in the fullness of this mystery is the perfect love of our God. It is a mystery which draws us into that perfect love, both now and forever.
We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. Acknowledging our needs, we offer now these our prayers. May all who guide the church reflect the spirit of truth in word and in action. We pray to the Lord. That the nations of the world unite to ensure food, shelter, work, health care, and peace for all. We pray to the Lord. That all missing children come home safely. We pray to the Lord. Lord that communities appreciate and support firefighters, rescue workers, and all and all who risk their lives daily. We pray to the Lord. Lord that all who gather at the banquet of the Lord be united in faith, hope, and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord that Chuck Hurley, whom, for whom this Mass is offered, may share forever the perfection of God's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord. For Stephanie Ballman, who passed away this past week, that she may enter into the love of heaven forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Merciful Father, we believe in your love. Grant what we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Welcome to our hymns number 716. Come now, Almighty.
pray together as Jesus our brother taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Meeting hymns number 311, now as we go. Thank you. 
Let us pray. Lord God, we worship you a trinity of persons, one eternal God. May our faith in the sacrament we receive bring us health of mind and body. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a couple of announcements. Next weekend I will be, on Saturday I'll be in Atlanta, Georgia. On Sunday I'll be in Phoenix, Arizona. Still haven't quite figured out how I'm going to make that trip happen, but... Um, I will be gone next weekend. Father Ed Griesedek will be here, um, so please welcome him when he gets here. Next weekend for the South End. Uh, this weekend is our golf tournament for St. Francis of Assisi. Next weekend is the um, golf tournament that benefits Blessed Trinity School St. Mary. So if you haven't signed up, please make sure that you do so. Uh, in the back, you will see a dinner sign-up sheet. We're having our summer dinner up here. If you have not signed up, if you weren't on the work list last year, make sure you get your name down there. We want to make sure you're part of our parish celebration and that wonderful dinner up here in Camps Hill. Lastly, we did lose Stephanie Ballman, only 24 years of age. Please keep her family in your prayers. The funeral will be held on Monday morning um, at St. Norbert's Church. Uh, the wake... Tomorrow evening is from 5 to 8 at the Grest Funeral Home in Harlem. Please keep her family in your prayers. The Lord be with you. Amen. Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Let us go forth in peace and love to serve each other and our Lord. Amen. Thanks be to God. Closing hymn is number 714, O God Almighty Father. <laughs> Oh, God, oh.